God of War Ragnarok answered the lore behind Jarmungandr, how he traveled to the past, even showed how he came to be in this world. However, in my ending explained video, a lot of people expressed to me that they just did not understand it. And yes, there are two versions of the same serpent during the events of God of War Ragnarok. God of War doesn't use years, but for the sake of context and making this video as easy as possible to understand, I will be addressing God of War Ragnarok as 2020 and the first game as 2018. Let's get right into it. The life of the giant named Yarmungandr begins before 2018, this era we will call Thor Killing Giants era. The giant Yarmungandr is a normal giant, however, he had a deep personal hatred of Thor as he had an issue with him in the past. We know he was a giant based on what Mimir said. Also, the lead writer of the game confirmed this to me. In Ragnarok, during the section with Anger Boda, Loki put a soul in the serpent. That version of the serpent is the one that appeared in Ragnarok. I asked for clarification on this and this is what he told me. He said, The serpent is still in Midgard, just kind of sleeping. The name on the soul marble was Yarmungandr. We are suggesting Yarmungandr was a giant before he was placed into the serpent. So the serpent's soul comes from a whole other giant named Yarmungandr, and this giant and Thor had an issue in the past. The reason why the serpent we saw in Jotunheim grew that large in scale is because of the soul that was placed in him. When Yarmungandr attacked Thor in Asgard, it seemed personal somehow. But there's no way they could have met before that, is there? I've been pondering that, and I have a theory. We know the lad spent his time in Jotunheim learning soul magic. Perhaps the serpent figured in. You mean Atreus placed some other giant soul into him? Someone who already hated Thor to begin with? Exactly! Though that doesn't narrow it down much, I grant you. I wonder if Yorm even remembers after all this time who he once was. While Thor was slaughtering giants in Midgard, some of the giants escaped back to Jotunheim. In 2018, we saw faces of giants on the walls and statues of giants returning to the realm. It can be assumed that one of the stone faces in Jotunheim is Jarmungandr. The giants made a decision. They could wait in Jotunheim for Odin to slaughter them, or they could make a choice to find peace. Ingerboda's father helped the giants put their souls in the marbles. One of them was Jarmungandr. Oh, more marbles. Wait, you've seen these before? Not these, but I found a few in Midgar. Where? Inside your mother's murals. <laughs> oh, but that's... There are more out there. What are they? These are the giants. My father helped whisper their souls into these. And before he died, he passed them on to me. It's within these. Yarmungandr and the other giants would remain this way for years. Fast forward to 2022. Two giants named Atreus and Angerboda would take the marble containing the soul of the giant named Yarmungandr and put it in a snake found without a soul because of Angerboda's grandmother. That snake suddenly shot to life and crawled off. Thank you. That's it? Where's it going? Did that even work? I don't know. Here. During the event of Ragnarok, this serpent will appear. Because of the soul that was put inside of the snake, the serpent would grow very large. Also, Yarmungandr went straight after Thor again because of the soul's hatred for Thor. Yarmungandr! A welcome sight! 
But he didn't follow us from Midgard. Curious. You'll keep Thor busy at least. Looks like the giant giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh... Uh, never mind, later. The Einherjar's link to Valhalla. During the Ragnarok event, the serpent gets hit by Thor so hard, he disappears right in front of Kratos' eyes. Thor used so much force, the world tree splintered, knocking the serpent back in time, even before his own birth. Amir, what else did the serpent tell you when you spoke? It kinda sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Don't I quite agree? Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Now we go before 2018, during Thor's attack on the giants. When the serpent spawned in Midgard, a few things happened. His appearance made the water level rise. It caused a desolation to occur, and Thor rushed to fight the serpent. However, their battle ended in a stalemate. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. After the Thor fight was over, the serpent actually met Mimir, and Mimir learned his language when he wasn't sober. The serpent also found out that the giants trusted their secrets to Tyr. I've still got it, lads. You remembers me. Now we move forward to 2018. The serpent will meet Atreus and Kratos after they blew the horn. The serpent looks at Atreus and says he looks familiar because he remembers seeing Atreus and Angraboda when they originally put the soul of Jarmungandr inside of him. But at this point, he got that soul so long ago in his life that maybe he just doesn't remember clearly. The serpent during this period will help Kratos and Atreus, including letting them see inside of his stomach, and the serpent will fight Baldur just to help them out as well. And once Baldur dies, the serpent will leave the Lake of Nine, however, he is sleeping behind one of the realm towers. Fast forward to 2022. The serpent is still in that same spot all this time until Atreus calls out to him, where the serpent mentions Ironwood the place of his birth, as he once again falls asleep, and he sleeps throughout the events of this entire game, including the Ragnarok battle. And that, my friends, is the full story of Jarmungandr, for now, anyways. But let's talk about some of the plot holes in Corey's tweets. Welcome to the theory section of this video. Now, there are some things that are kinda weird. First, how did the serpent travel from Jotunheim to Asgard? Well, during our adventure inside of his stomach, we see pieces of Alfheim inside of him. Maybe the serpent has his own way to travel between realms. I find it very strange that the serpent didn't join the Battle of Ragnarok. Perhaps the serpent knew if he fought alongside his younger self, maybe that will create some type of paradox to actually happen, which would probably screw up a lot of things. Corey tweeted out that there might be a whole other game that talks more about the world serpent. Part of me just wants to say that Cory Barlog is trolling like usual. He does this a lot and some content creators, you know, we know that Cory is, he's just a troll sometimes over on Twitter. But maybe, just maybe he's directing a game that's about Atreus and the serpent is somehow involved. And it's more than possible that Thor hit the serpent and when the serpent disappeared, instead of going back in time immediately, something else happened entirely. Perhaps in this whole other game, Atreus, Agraboda, and the serpent just do some stuff. Agraboda dies and that's how the serpent knows the pain of loss. And in that adventure, he may go back in time before 
um, and then he'll go to the events of 2018 and the same exact events will happen but maybe there's a whole other story out there and that is everything I have to say about Yarmungandr and all of his lore that I found out. If you like this video or at least respect the time it takes to put all this together, I appreciate a subscription. I'm going to be out of here. Thank you guys and girls for listening. Do 